to unpack the range, cut the packing straps, and lift the carton straight up. Unpack the grates and burner caps, and discard the styrofoam. You can remove the oven door to reduce the weight of the range during installation. Fully open the door and unlock the hinge on both sides, rotating them as far toward the open door frame as they will go. Then firmly grasp both sides of the door. Close the door approximately 30 degrees to the removal position, which is halfway between the broil stop position and fully closed. If the position is correct, the hinge cams will move freely. Lift the door up and out until the hinge cams are clear of the slots. Never lift the door by the handle. It is not designed to support the weight of the door and could break. Now, remove all packing materials from inside the oven. Also, remove the trays and oven racks to make the range easier to handle. But do not remove the griddle element or adhesive film that's over the brushed metal surface to protect the finish from scratches. In order to remove the range from the pallet, remove the four nuts to remove the brackets. Then remove the eight Phillips head screws. Move the range only as shown here to avoid damaging the appliance and personal injury. You will need two people and a furniture dolly with soft wheels or an airlift to support the weight of the appliance. Now carefully tilt the range from the back and insert a dolly under the range to remove it from the pallet. To prevent damage to the sides of the range, you will need to pad the corners beneath the straps of the dolly. Slide the range onto press board, cardboard or plywood to avoid damaging the floor coverings.